welcome back to another one of my youtube videos where i share with you just how i grow orchids in jamaica it's been a while since i've really showed you what is happening right here in my garden and so today i decided that i will highlight some of what is actually happening in the garden well we actually had almost a whole week of rain and i never had the chance to do my usual protective spraying where i would spray them perhaps um, every three or four days in order to save my blooms and also outside of the fact the blooms got um, damaged but nevertheless i still have a few that i can highlight and share with you and so if you want to see just what is happening right here in the garden why don't you just stick around this is actually my faithful bed and of course faithful regardless of what remains faithful and, and the fact that there are new spikes coming out within a short while, we will be having quite a bit in terms of blooms. For Faithful, I had actually removed quite a bit of the plants from it because, you know, I have some plans to do some things to this area, which I'm not going to say right now. I will focus too mainly on the under beds. So let me take you a little closer to some of what is happening here in this bed. I have a lot of trimming to do right here. So if you notice, these have been bloomed off. And really and truly, I haven't been doing a lot of work in the garden. And so it needs a bit of maintenance. So this is what is happening right here. A uh, few of them. I still have a few blooms, as I did mention. This one here is a faithful one. The blooms are not very big. However, it just is a prolific bloomer and it can put on a stunning show. Let me just put it that way. So here we go. This one was really, really awesome. But, of course, you can notice the damage here. See? And these are basically as a result of the rain that we had recently. However, see, it is actually sending out another spike right there. So, it is not all doom and gloom because there are spikes coming. The other thing that I want to share with you today is the fact that we are in summer right now and let me tell you something the summer hot it is extremely extremely hot and the fact that it is so hot and not just hot it is also very windy and so because of that we have to be watering quite frequently and listen to me sometime i have to water morning and i have to water in the afternoon just to make sure that the plants are really not dried out too much and outside are drying out too much that they do not get wilted i had cut back a few and i've just stick them look at this one i just love this one you know this is one of those Denisoniana. I don't have the exact ID, but when you look at the shape of it, look at that. It looks like one of those Denisoniana. And it seemed to be a prolific grower because I think I have several plants of it in different areas. And listen to me. It's just awesome. Let me smell it to see if it has a fragrance. Wow, it is sweet. It is sweet. Really highly fragrant. 
this one gosh i am forgetting the name of this one right now oh it's a uh, airy ah not remembering it but i'll get it for you it's gonna be putting on a stunning show i'm seeing on this one one two three four five about five or six spikes i'm seeing on this one right now so you can imagine it's a airy this yes airy this so you can imagine what it's gonna look like so this is faithful the faithful bloomer but faithful while it remains faithful is not in its full glory it is not what it is accustomed to be but in a short while it will get there so let's move to another section of the garden perhaps let's look under the almond tree because faithful is right beside the almond tree you know under the almond tree uh not a lot is happening either under the almond tree if you look there in terms of blooms so let me take you closer and highlight i think i might just have one or two orchids blooming under the almond tree right now because they have really bloomed off this is one of my encyclia but it has bloomed off i have it here mounted and it does pretty well on this uh, mount right here it seemed to love it it had two lovely spikes but uh again the rain and of course the bee okay, if you notice here quite a number of them have been pollinated there right so when it's not the rain it's the insect but then the bee they have to survive I really have to highlight this one this is one of those renanthera orchids I think the ID is on it it's actually washed out so I'm not quite sure which one it is but um, and that's a problem I have with my IDs after a while they I tend to lose what is written on them so what I have to be doing now is actually redoing some of them so that it will last and isn't this a beautiful one just look at that wow and it is right there against my wall and you notice the ivy on the wall how nicely it is covering the wall it needs a little maintenance right now and hopefully we'll do that today this other renanthera i actually have it for a friend i'm doctoring it for a friend when i got it it had just about three leaves and look at it now it is taking its time and it's really getting somewhere i realize with this plant it doesn't like the full sun and so i actually keep it right behind the almond tree along the wall and it loves it it really loves it there and boy I don't know if you can see the details of these blooms let me see if I can get a little closer for you to see that it's just so beautiful oh lord and even though it has one spike it actually has multiple um, side shoots which makes it really really spectacular so that's my renanthera orchid right there again under the almond tree there is just one other plant that i have blooming i'm not sure i can get close to it as it is right now i'm closer to it now oh dear it's actually a sort of mini vanda yes it's a mini vanda let me zoom out a bit right so it's a miniature vanda orchid and i bought this maybe around two years now and there it is i really can't call this name and so to you 
so this is what this beautiful little thing is and this is the only thing outside of that Enseclair orchid that has bloomed off that I have blooming under the almond tree. Let's move from under the almond tree. So this little section here. All right. What happened here needs a little fixing up, a little sprucing up, a little organizing. And so I have actually started. So what I've started doing, it's not completed. I had planted these trees because I need them to actually mount my plants. However, they have to be maintained because if you don't maintain them, they grow very tall, if you can see right there, right? But it's a beautiful tree. And once you're able to maintain it, it serves a really good purpose so I have these wrinkle stylus orchids and they were potted and somehow they weren't doing pretty well at all and then for a couple of years I had them on the tower it's just about two of them on the tower that I found that did fairly well but these they were just going down 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 so I literally took them from there, I had them in another area, 50% shaded. They still weren't doing well. And so recently I took them and I mounted them. It actually is sending out some lovely roots right under there. Yes, right down there. And I recently did the same with this one. And I am looking here too. And yes. Oops, let me get closer right there. It is sending out some lovely roots. So what I'm finding out is that these Rinka Stylus orchids seem to like to be mounted. So I can't wait to see them reach a stage where they are blooming, where I can actually share the blooms with you. So these here are some other orchids that I have. They were actually in the bed where i have my faithful bloomers and because i have plans for that area i took them out and i placed them on these vanda totem which i actually call my vanda towers right here and listen they are becoming established look at them they are blooming so what i did they are in clay pots or large pots. So I actually set up some large pots. I think I, um, I had shown you one of these in a short video when I did my weekend um, project. And that was the weekend project. So I set them up here and see they are becoming established. They have bloomed for me for some time on and off but I am getting a lot more blooms now. So this is what is happening. This is what is happening, see? And this one actually has two spikes. See, most of them are spiking. So for the summer, I should really have some lovely blooms right here. I need to set up a few more of these along the fence line right here so this area even though I've done some work it is not yet where I want it I put in some palms different types of palms put in some other trees that I will have to maintain and this area in a short while once it is finished it will be really a lovely area I also have some dendrobiums here. This one was in bloom quite recently. It did put on a splendid show. Right. And my epidendrums, I'm trying to fix them up right here. So, see? So what I've done, I've put some in a pot right here. I have also put some in, in tires. So this yellow is actually in a tire need some maintenance yes also here i have this red which is also in a tire this one is one that we find here in the wild 
it had it quite recently it was really putting on a splendid show but um i just didn't get the time to capture it and so most of the blooms are gone especially with that rain so this is what is happening right here see another the palm tree that i have put in there this little section i also have some native epidendrum orchids so these epidendrum orchids are basically some of our native orchids we find them in the wild here and of course you know with the plants you put up you have to plant a little bit of food so my pineapple needs a little maintenance not um blooming now but i'm sure for the next season it will and on this tree stump i actually had planted some dendrobium orchids so it is in the back here behind the epidendrum so if you notice the epidendrum orchids are going through them right so the dendrobiums are here and the epidendrums uh, by dendrobium blooming here so all these dendrobiums that you're seeing right here I'll show you them they are actually mounted on this piece of tree stump or log however we choose to call it and that's what is happening right here so this section don't think I've ever featured this area because you know it needed a little bit of sprucing up i've started but <laughs> the other thing guys the snails and the stog man they give this area everything that we're looking for so i have to start spraying again and spray when i spray you now i ensure that i put some snail bait into my spray mix i had stopped doing that for a while because i was using it in a different way but the lord can manage <laughs> i have to get back to using it in my spray mix because what that will do is actually ward them off okay well it's not yet where i want it but in time it will get there so this one too is another one that I have in a tire right here, right by my entrance. It needs a little sprucing up right now, but we'll get there. This one really was putting on a nice little show for me, but it's all moved off now. Uh, not sure you can see it quite well see how well you can see it yes so this is what is happening and of course the um this native orchid here trichocentrum on the latum right around the back there yes so there it is so of course my italian cypress it is just reaching the heavens it is just so tall well there are two of them and they are just really really tall i am thinking that i might have to trim them i might have to cut them in half because they are really really tall in comparison to the house and even to the power line let me show you that even in relation to the power line they are really really tall and of course you know we live in an area where we encounter hurricanes storms heavy wind and so i would not want that to happen and then i have issues with these trees so i might have to cut them so let me show you what i intend to do right here so right under this one i've actually started i have placed my clay pot and i need to get a few more because right around the root of this tree i am thinking of placing some river stones and some clay pots and i'm gonna be putting bromeliads 
and dendrobium orchids around the entire tree but I'll put the I'll put them all in pots so this is another project that I will be working on so my first one is actually in bloom right so it has just started blooming okay so this is my next project this is my next project that I will be working on very soon okay so let's continue so this area this area right along my walkway let me show you my entrance my walkway right so when you enter this is what you see on two sides of my walkway I have these Vanda Mokoro Arantanda beds and of course let me go on this side first on my right upon entering usually I have a lot of blooms right here and this is also where my Vanda Tower is so my Vanda Tower as it is right now do not have on a lot of blooms but a few are there of course it's Jamaica fire listen recently it was in its glory you now you should see it I tell you it even got a first prize at the Manchester Horticultural Plant Show and Sale and also incorporated in the tower I have some bromeliads because I realized that they don't mind being hung so I placed them there to just you know form fillers and even if I do not have blooms on it they within themselves will bring some colors to this area so I don't have a lot blooming on the tower right now just a few uh, just a few But I have a lot of spikes coming down. A lot of them are in spikes. See? A lot of them are in spikes. They're my wrinkle stylist that I have there that does pretty decent. The last time it bloomed, it actually had on two spikes. Yes. Okay. So that's what is happening right here and then the left upon entering of course is incorporated with the Vanda orchids are bromeliads there and this one here I just placed this here perhaps I'll put this underneath the, um, the Italian cypress tree you know I am seeing here. Let me see if I find the ID for you. Okay, it's the Jamaica fire as well. So it is actually about to bloom for me. So I recently placed it in this clay pot because I want to see what it can really do because I know it can put on a splendid show. So I've incorporated a few right here. This is another one. And it's a prolific grower so in, in a short time you'll basically have a lot of it that's how it is so all right so this one I it's a top cut that I place here and you notice it is wilting so I'm gonna have to cut the blooms off I'm gonna have to cut this blooms off and I'm gonna have to really water it a lot but nevertheless it is sending out root but because the summer is on us and the wind and the heat it is wilting right now but I'm gonna sort sort her out around here that I had put in clay pots if you notice right there this clay pot has around three in there and in the corner there one under there doing a little thing boy this fern whilst I like it if I'm not careful it take over my whole garden 
and what it does it sends out some hefty root or i'm not sure what you call that which it grows from and let me tell you something you have to dig them out <laughs> dig them out to get them out so this one is my makora dinosaur pink i just love this one i'm accustomed to the dinosaur red but i got this pink and man it is just doing well there it is yes my dinosaur pink has on two spikes and it is always in bloom so it is also in this clay pot right here it too perhaps need i think i need to to stick stake it rather i think i need to stake it up a bit more it has started growing up right now yeah so there not a lot in bloom but spikes are coming these also are in this another clay pot right here hidden under there it's that clay pot yes and doing their little thing and of course i've started incorporating the bromeliads in my garden and i think they really make a difference so this video is getting very long you know so the fact that this video is getting very long i think i might cut it right here because you know i have a lot to show in the garden and i can't really show you everything all in one and so let me just highlight this little section this section i don't remember what i called it we wanted to name it and i don't remember if we had actually given it its name all right so if you notice here see i've been losing my flowers so i'm gonna have to cut this back but look it is actually sending out a new spike down there so even though i'm losing my flowers my blooms i am getting new spikes and so pretty soon i will have a flurry of flowers so right here this little section at the front where i tend to have a lot of flowers here as well but i'm not seeing a lot here because i've lost them as a result of the rainfall but it's coming up it's coming up it's coming up let me highlight this one down here let me try and find the id because it is down here this is a new one that i bought quite recently oh it's the vanda jvb cross with the mimi palmer can you see it let me zoom in and let me tell it it smells awesome so spikes but not many blooms blooms are flowers are damaged but nevertheless i still enjoy what i have here believe me look at this one around here this one had on two lovely spikes and i tell you they were bumptious they were bumptious but they're gone ah this one is in its splendor So I got this, I got a division of it and had it there for a number of years. It is grass-like, it grows um, similar to the bamboo orchid, right? And I had it there, wasn't sure how to grow it and it just would not bloom. So I went and I read up on it and I saw where it says that it need to be in full sun. So of course I took it out and I place it right here in the full sun and voila it's blooming for me yes, yes. isn't that gorgeous yes there it is so I got two spikes still has a little way to go because um, there are a lot in the center 
that are not yet open. So while some are blooming off, others are coming. And there it is. So it's grass-like and it loves full sun. But look here. It's sending out another one right here, you know, guys. See there? Yeah. So I am so happy that I moved it. So I have another small pot of it. It's right here. It's a prolific grower. No? So I had placed them at different sections of my home. And see, I put this other small one here. So I recently put this one here. So I'm hoping too that it will bloom for me pretty soon. All right. So um, I'm going to end the video now because it's a little lengthy and i really don't like when my videos are too long so i'm gonna end it now and just ask you to give me a thumbs up if you like it and if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel because of course i enjoy sharing with you i enjoy interacting with you and i just love to hear from you so please give me ideas of what type of videos you would love to see and we continue the interaction so thank you so much for watching this is the orchid duck and of course i am sharing with you just how i grow orchids right here in Manchester, Jamaica.